arrows, the arrows of the enemy, the arrow that fly it by day, and the destruction that wasted at noonday must backfire when the shield comes up. Hallelujah. The shield also helps to ease the attack or the a blow of the enemy. So yes, you may have a casualty, but the damage that the enemy thinks he will do with your life, the damage that he thought was going to happen does not happen because the shield is up. Yes, you may get down on your knees. Yes, you may stagger because of the force of what is coming up against your life, but you may be shaken, but you are not out of position. Come on, somebody. You may cry, but you are not out of position. You may feel like you are losing your mind, but you are not out of position. Yes, you got an injury. Yes, you bleed, but because God is a shield, you will not feel the full blunt of what the enemy wanted to uh, sin against your life because the enemy wanted you to have a death blow. He wanted to kill you. This thing was supposed to wipe you out. This thing was supposed to cause you to lose your mind. You're supposed to be in Bellevue. You're supposed to be walking on the side of the road, eating out of a garbage bin. But the devil is a liar today. You may be down, but you are not out. And every time you feel like you're dying, all of a sudden, he who is the resurrection resurrection and the life begins to stir himself up, up out of your belly and lets you know, I am the resurrection and the life. Come on, somebody. Even if you are dead, yet shall you also live. I am the resurrection and the life. Yes, they counted you out. Yes, they left you for dead. Yes, they are buried you six feet under, but I am that I am. Whatever you want God to be, in a moment, he will become. That's why he told Moses, I am that I am. Meaning that whatever you need me to be in a moment, I will become. And so God is calling your spirit up out of the grave. He is calling your spirit up out of the depression. Calling your spirit up out of betrayal. Calling your spirit up out of any kind of deadness that you see manifesting in your life. Hallelujah. I am the resurrection, hallelujah, and the life, hallelujah, glory to his name. And so brothers and sisters, the shield of God, yeah, using the shield, timing is everything. David did not call for the shield until it was necessary for the shield to, to manifest itself. And so brothers and sisters, when you go to war, you've got to know that timing is everything. You cannot be out here shooting wildly, but you have got to become a sniper. You've got to become a marksman. You've got to line your enemy up and shoot at the right moment. And so the shield has got to come out at a calculated time. And not just bringing out a shield, uh, just to bring out a shield. But you've got to know when to bring it out. You've got to know when hell has been raised up against your life, you've got to time the missile of the enemy and send the counter attack up to destroy the missile of the enemy. Timing is everything. You've got to know when to come in and when to go out. He that winneth souls uh, is wise and when you have good counsel, then you go to war, the Bible says. And so you've got to be wise and a master strategist when it comes to warfare, your children getting on your nerves, don't cuss and quarrel in the house. Go into your prayer closet. Go into your war room and pull out the weapon. Pull out the weapon that is needed for the situation that you find yourself in. And the shield also is designed to push down barriers and to give you access. And so, brothers and sisters, whatever is opposing you, whatever Jericho wall has been raised up over your life, you've got to use your shield to push it down. You've got to get behind the shield.
mind of God and allow God to push down every limitation, to break through every barrier, to cause every opposing wall, to crumble, to cause everything that the enemy has sent as a roadblock in your life, or to cause it to fall. And the shield was normally anointed to preserve it. And it was also anointed to ensure that whatever attack was coming, that it would not stick, that it would, it would slide off of the shield. And so brothers and sisters, you have to be anointed if you are going to activate the shield of God, because the anointing is there to preserve the shield. The anointing is there to ensure that whatever poisonous arrow the enemy is sending against your life, that it does not stick, that it slides off. People have been gossiping and people have been lying and people have been trying to set you up. But each time they try to set you up, it just slides off. God makes a way of escape. They encamp round about you, wanting to devour you. But God makes a way of escape. They come in like a flood. But the spirit of the Lord raises up a standard. Have you ever wondered how you escape out of some of the trials? that the enemy has set all of the traps that people have set is because of the anointing. The anointing makes you slippery. The anointing allows you to squeeze your way out of conflict, squeeze your way out of sabotage, squeeze your way even out of witchcraft. The shield is there to cause you uh, to, to be able to squeeze and to cause the things that the enemy wants to stick on to your life to slide up and so brothers and sisters you should not be carrying the trauma of your childhood it is supposed to slide up you should not be carrying the betrayal of 10 years ago you've got to get into the presence of God and allow God to unburden and offload the heaviness and the weight that you have been carrying some of us for years the anointing is there to destroy Destroy the yoke and to set you free. And so, brothers and sisters, you've got to allow the presence of God to cause this thing to slide off. And so, when the enemy comes in and he comes up upon you to eat up your flesh, he will stumble and fall. He will slide and fall on his face because there is so much anointing, there is so much power around you. Ah, that the that the enemy environment become slippery with the anointing. David said he anoints my head with oil and my cup runs over. So even if the enemy is coming, he can't even stand in your presence. Ah, he's going to stumble and fall flat on his face because the environment is slippery with the anointing. Come on. The environment is slippery with the power of God. The uh, our environment is slippery with the glory of God. He cannot stand up to fight. He cannot stand up to accuse you. All oh, that he uh, experiences is a slippery slope, a slippery floor, a slippery environment and it's designed it is designed to cause him to fall flat on his face. Hallelujah. All of the temptation, all of the trial, all of the tribulation is going to fall flat on his face. No one the Bible said that God will cause our paths to become slippery with the anointing because only the anointed can stand in this kind of environment because you are anointed on the inside. The anointing is going to come out on the outside and because you understand and have become a student of the spirit, you are able to stand up in the anointing. Only a devil runs from the anointing. Only a demon is uncomfortable in the presence of God. And this is how you get to know who is with you and who is against you and who is a demon and who is genuinely saved. When you begin to pray and you begin to call on the name of God and people begin to cry out, why have you come to torment me before my time? You know that you are dealing with a demon. When they come in 
into your presence and they can't stay in your presence because they are uncomfortable because of the God on the inside of you. You know that you are dealing with a demon. And so when they come upon you to eat up your flesh, they're going to start stumble and they're going to fall. Hallelujah. Thank you.